Are you trying to get partners or investors to come on to your deals, right? Is that what you're trying to do? You're trying to get something happening, trying to make some moves, trying to get investors to invest in you, your business. Get bigger real estate deals. Make more money. Hit the millions, baby. I've made millions of dollars in real estate, and a lot of that had to do with bringing on other investors, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. Today's show, special show. Today, they're all special. That's why you got to subscribe, man. Oh, why? It's TV. We're special, baby. Now, today's show is from a guy, Jake. Jake, you're from Denver. And you got entrepreneurial spirit. You actually moved uh, from Denver to the Cleveland area because you see opportunity in the properties in Cleveland. It's one of the best most popular turnkey markets in the country, right? And we're actually going to be talking about a property that I think is actually, uh, it's like an unknown part of the Cleveland market, right? It's like 30 minutes west. A lot of people on the national scale don't know about it, right? And there's some really sneaky good deals. And I think that's what's going to help you, right? Because it appears you're you're running into a wall, right? You told me, you're like, dude, I moved from Denver to Cleveland. I understand the market, I think. Uh, well, I'm learning the market. That's why you hooked up with me, so I could help teach you the market, which is what I've been doing in all your videos. Uh, but you're like, man, I, I really see the potential here. I'm trying to bring in other investors that I know. Like, I know you're part of, like, an investing networking group. You told me you got, like, something like 3,000 uh, fellow people in this group. A and you're really trying to, to get them to buy into what you're doing, right? But you've been having trouble. You've been running into the brick wall here, right? And I think I got a solution for you, dude. I think the reason you're running into this brick wall is because the deals are good, but they're not good enough, right? So let me explain. Yes, buying a property with a loan here in this market, the cash flow is much better than a lot of other markets, much better than the Denver market where you come from, right? But you're trying to convince investors to partner with you. You need to do more. You need to go one step further. That's easy, bro. If they really want to do that, what the hell do they need you for? They really don't, right? They just cut you out and, you know, hook up with a company like Holton Wise, right? So go, go deeper. Go into something uh, that they could really bite their teeth into, right? So what I think you should do, instead of focusing on just pure buy and hold, let's focus on something that's even tougher. Let's focus on bird deals, right? Because Burr deals are going to allow them to cash out their money sooner and get a bigger ROI, right? So I think you present them a Burr opportunity, show them that you have success pulling off a Burr deal. Hell, now that you're local, maybe you do a couple Burr deals with my team, and then eventually you start taking over to construction, you can make your deals have even more meat on the bone than the one I'm going to present to you, right? You're local. You're here. Understand the process. You cut me out eventually. That. That's how you're going to bring investors on, bro. That's how I brought investors on. You got to really show them that you're doing tough work on the ground. You got to do the stuff nobody wants to do. That's how you get investors to buy into your business, right? So let me show you a kind of deal uh, that's going to solve that, right? That's going to allow you to do that. Let's check out the Burr deal right after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now, this one, woo boy, this is going to be a good one. I, I really think this has got the potential to be a banger of a deal, right? A couple things you have to understand, right? Burr, right? For anybody who's confused, you buy, you renovate, you rent refinance repeat you buy a crappy house okay that's where it starts and guess what folks this house this is a crappy house all right see that see this crappy floor broken window broken ceiling drop ceiling you know what that drop ceiling means 
above that. There's probably a bunch of water damage, and they just covered it up, right? This, obviously not cool. This is like a hundred-something-year-old house. That's why you get this plaster and laugh. They don't even make houses like this. This son of a bitch is old, all right? It's, it's going to fit our bill, right? It sucks. It's crappy. Boarded up window. Crappy kitchen, right? Just totally wrecked, okay? I don't even know what room this is supposed to be, but it looks sucky, right? You see all this? This is all water damage, okay? See? Before I even got here, I knew about the water damage because I, like a sleuth, like a Dick Tracy that I am, right? I figured that out looking at that drop ceiling, right? So that means we're going to have to replace the roof, okay? This thing is jacked, all right? And that's the first step to buying a bird deal, right? You need a jacked house, and that's that's what we got here, right? A jacked house, okay? Basement, ugly, dirty dungeon. Although, truth be told, it's going to remain kind of dungeon-y, -y, right? In this neighborhood, basement, it's not going to be uh, living space, okay? It's going to be unfinished space for you to put your furnace, hot water tank, etc. I'm assuming we're going to replace the furnace. The hot water tank actually looked pretty new. That's pretty crazy right the whole house is destroyed water's coming in for the ceiling but they got like a brand new hot water tank in there i don't know whatever it is what it is okay so this house is jacked first step find a jacked house right the address by the way 1724 east 30th lorraine ohio okay 45k that's what they're asking it's not a horrible horrible price but it's too high for us so i'm gonna get you a better price all right Lorraine, Ohio. It's about 30 minutes west of Cleveland, Ohio. I like Lorraine, Ohio quite a bit, right? A lot of people focus on Cleveland. Uh, a lot of out-of-state investors come into the Cleveland markets, one of the best cash flow markets, right? Uh, but if you actually go outside of the city, you get better deals because not a lot of people are paying attention. Plus, this area of Lorraine, we got two naval bases getting uh, built over there, right? There's going to be like three or 4,000 jobs coming right into this neighborhood. I love it, okay? So, you buy a jacked house, you got to renovate jacked house. That's what we're going to do, okay? Now, that house is jacked. It's going to need about 50K in work. Don't worry, my team. We handle all that for you, right? We got to do it all. We got to replace the roof, replace the, the water damage from the leaky roof, replace all the floors. We're going to go vinyl allure. Uh, we're going to fix up all the plaster and lath type stuff, right? Uh, we're going to repaint everything, right? Whatever color is the most popular, uh, you know, in the country. Right now, I think it's agreeable gray, although I think we're starting to see a shift. Uh, we'll have to check. Uh, I'll have to check with my maintenance team. I, I know uh, gray is starting to get outdated, and there might be, like, a different tone, uh, a little more earthy uh, that's starting to sell better, right? That's what we do. We don't paint houses based on what color I think looks cool. We don't paint houses based on what color you think looks cool. Guess what? I'll be honest with you. If you buy a property from me and you ask me to burr it, I don't give a fuck what colors you like. I don't care because you're not going to live in the house. If you're looking for a real estate person that's going to help you buy a house you're going to live in, I don't know why you're watching my show. That's not what we do. We help you make money, right? So the colors you like, irrelevant. The colors I like, irrelevant, right? You want to use colors you like, put that in your own house. Although I'm married, so I don't, I don't get to put the colors I like in those houses either. But that's a topic for another day. Am I right? Just kidding. That's the best way to do it, man. Happy wife, happy life. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, moral of the story is, folks, we're here to make you money. We're here to treat these as investments. And we go where the money goes, right? So what the paint suppliers tell us is the most popular color, shabam! That's the color we use, right? So we're going to fix all that up. New furnace, new roof. Uh, Home Depot Lowe's quality kitchen cabinets, right? Get this thing rent ready. You're looking at about 50K. Now, this is where it gets good. It's, it's going to be a Section 8 monster. Why? Because it's huge. This house, five bedrooms. When you get the voucher programs, right? CMHA, Eden, Section 8, those are the ones we got out here. The more bedrooms you get, you really start to bring in the money. Uncle Sam! Woo, boy, Uncle Sam be giving away the farm. Let's go, Brandon, am I right? He's giving away the farm when you get somebody with a big old bedroom voucher, right? A tenant with, like, a three-bedroom voucher, not going to get you as much money as a tenant with a five-bedroom voucher. So if you're going for voucher programs, folks, you get yourself the big one. We're going to get a lot of rent, right? So here's the numbers I got planned out for you all. They're asking 45. I think we could pick it up at 30. It's jacked, right? Come in with a cash offer. Contingent on inspection just to make sure, like, structurally the house ain't falling apart, right? If we have a major structural issue in that basement, 
it's going to kill the deal. But outside of that, I've pretty much accounted for everything. We should be okay. So 30 plus my 50 budget, right? That's 80. This is where it gets good since we're going to be doing a voucher because that's how you get the most rent. Since it's five beds, we'll probably be able to pull down 1250 right? 1250 from a voucher program. And that's what's great about the voucher programs outside of the rent being super high. It's guaranteed rent, bro. They lose their job. Who cares? Government's paying their rent, right? Car breaks down, can't get to work. Don't matter. We still get the rent, baby. Let's go, Brandon. Woo! Anywho. Uh, it's, it, it's how it works, right? See, like, you know, as real estate investors, you know, we, we like to bag on the Democrats, but when they take away the money, and they put it in one of these kind of voucher programs. It kind of comes back to us anyway, right? So uh, 1250 comes in, 15 for the year. After running for your fixed and variable expense estimates, I think you'll be clearing 7800 But in reality, it's probably even better than that, right? Because I have your cap expenditures in there, right? Your cap expenditures were accounting for 750 a year. I have you saving 750 a year, knowing that eventually you'll have to pay for stuff, right? But that money's really coming into your pocket now on top of the 78 right? And your cap expenditures? Furnace. They last 30 years. Well, guess what? We're putting in a new furnace, right? Costs about three Gs. Don't got to worry about it for another 30 years, right? That's broken down into your cap expenditures. Roof. Big ass house. Probably like a $9,000 roof. Guess what? Last 30 years. You shouldn't have to worry about it. So that's money you don't have to worry about right now, right? Hot water tank. Apparently it's already new. I don't know why, but it is, right? Uh, your vacancy and not payment. We just talked about how great government guaranteed money is, right? So that's pretty sweet. Repairs and maintenance. Most of the time those happen at turnovers. Not a lot of five-bedroom Section 8 houses available, right? So good good possibility this actually nets you more, but I want to estimate it conservatively, right? Now, here's where it gets really, really good if you don't already understand how good it is so far. You're going to be all in at this thing for 80 when we get it appraised, right? Buy, renovate, rent, right? So we're going to buy it. We're going to fix it. We're going to get a Section 8 tenant in there. Refinance. Now, beautiful, renovated Five-bedroom house in this neighborhood? Conservatively, I think we'll get a 90K appraisal. That means they'll give us back 67500 So you spent eighty, and this is the repeat part. The bank giving you back sixty-seven and a half. we could do the deal again. You only keep 12 and a half into the deal. That, folks, should be a 35% ROI, C-grade neighborhood in Ohio. My team will handle the entire renovation. My team will handle the property management. My team will handle the insurance. This is why people come to this market. This is why people are becoming millionaires utilizing the Burr strategy. I have made millions utilizing this strategy. The Burr strategy has literally put millions of dollars in my pocket. Will it put millions of dollars in your pocket tomorrow? Probably not. It takes a little bit of time. But I've done it, and guess what? I started with one deal. This could be the deal you start with. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.